Hello, my name is Will Caswell, and I am now doing my video to complete the student new student dialogue module requirement for CU one thousand. Um, so I personally um, attended the dialogue on "Am I a Good Person?" and uh, talked about religion and morality. And uh, I was really interested in that. That's why I chose that specifically. Um, so I arrived um, on a Wednesday afternoon. It's a rainy day at Lahotsky Hall, and uh, and arrived in, in a circle of other people who were already there and um, preparing for the dialogue. Um, you looked around and you just see people who you might not recognize. Um, but it was really interesting, everybody coming together. And um, we had two um, guides um, there who um, were leading us through the dialogue. Um, so um, we began by becoming familiar with one another uh, through Icebreaker. And we went around and um, um, told everybody our name, obviously, where we were from, um, whether we were a transfer student or a freshman. Um, what our major was, and then something fun we uh, talked about, or just stated like a song that was a guilty pleasure, um, so that maybe we were maybe a little bit embarrassed about, but that kind of got us going. Um, so that was fun. It kind of created an atmosphere um, where we could confide in one another, and um, it was less tense. So it was, that was good that we um, opened up in that way. Um, um, following that, um, we were handed out um, laminates with information on the differences between debate, discussion, and dialogue. And I felt I found that really interesting. Um, obviously, I knew there was a difference, but it was really um, cool to see it all um, written out um, in, in in bullet points um, from different perspectives so um, j basically what I learned and coming from prior knowledge as well is that debate um, in contrast to dialogue debate is about proving your point um, finding weaknesses in someone else's claim and uh, exposing that and the whole point is to prove that they are wrong you're right um, there's not a listening really involved. The uh, on, only listening going on is for the sole purpose of exposing their faulty ideas and then um, throwing in your ideas to, um, to make them stumble. So um, debate is not really encouraging and it uh, doesn't really, you're not really worrying about others, others' emotions. Um, so that was not what we were trying to achieve in our new student dialogue. Um, and this is the purpose for going through this was just to create an atmosphere where um, we weren't going to speak out wrongly and hurt one another. Um, so I guess um, it's important that that was done before we began our dialogue. There's also discussion, and discussion was closer to dialogue. Um, it's kind of like a middle ground between debate and dialogue, but it's still not what they were, we were trying to achieve because discussion um, many times is just trying to get um, your idea out there. So you kind of just wait for someone else to um, finish talking. You're not really listening. Um, you just kind of get your idea out there. So it's not, re not really open-minded, <coughs> um, but dialogue is more um, open-minded, um, which, is, which is good. Um, so after we reviewed those differences, um, we played a couple active games. We played a game Thumbs Up and Thumbs Down. Um, one of the peer uh, mentors um, asked questions about different people, whether we thought they were moral or immoral. Um, and we responded with a thumbs up or a thumbs down or neutral if there was like a gray zone. Uh, which was really interesting to look around the room and see different people's thoughts. Obviously, like most people went down for Hitler and up for Mother Teresa, but there's a lot of in between that you 
could have gone either way, which is really interesting. Then we played another game, um, step in or step out. So one of the peer mentors asked us questions um, like whether we had, for instance, like judged someone based on what they wore or made uh, a judgment call on someone's religion based on how they acted or what they wore. And we, if we had, we'd step forward. If we hadn't, we would stay this, the same and if, uh, or we'd move back. And that was really interesting to see different people's thoughts um, about that. And then we created a timeline. Um, and to the purpose of deciding when we um, thought we had become a good person. Which is really interesting because it's hard, uh, it's hard to really pinpoint um, when you think you become a good person. So I guess they were assuming that everybody believed that they were a good person. Um, and so we went from there. Um, and um, we all created a little timeline. And then the mentors went over theirs. It's really interesting to see what they thought. One came from an atheistic perspective and one comes from a Christian perspective, um, which is really cool to have that um, duality. And they both... Um, a lot of the r religion or faith or lack of faith came into play, um, but the but in the end the atheist um, guy still um, believed he was moral, and that you know uh, morals weren't dependent on religion because obviously he didn't claim a religion. Um, so we discussed that, which was, was really interesting. Um, after we also got in small groups with like two or three of our fellow um, peers in the in the circle, um, students just like us. Um, so I was paired with three other guys, um, two of which were atheists, one was a Catholic, I personally am a Christian. So it's really interesting hearing their perspectives on morality in regards to religion, whether that's dependent upon religion or not. <coughs> then we kind of came to the conclusion that you could be moral uh, and uh, without without claiming religion, um, whether that, that, that moral those morals come from um, a source outside of yourself, um, a higher power, um, is left up to debate, but um, we didn't really get into that. Um, but it was really interesting, uh, really uh, learned a lot about different perspectives, that was really cool. And then we um, broke back into a large group, and we shared um, what we had learned and had a discussion, or di a dialogue at that point. Um, we kind of prepared for that final dialogue, and I um I tried to be really active in the dialogue. I didn't want to be over to overdo it and overshadow the people that wanted to say things, um, but I definitely wanted to get my ideas out there because I have a lot of uh, personal opinions on this matter. Um, other people didn't speak as much; they were reserved. Uh, probably just trying to get through it. Um, but I personally really enjoyed uh, this opportunity, and uh, even though uh, it took time and could have been doing other things, I did really enjoy it, and I think it um, was helpful for me personally. Um, I definitely see this dialogue um, as a useful tool um, to for freshmen or incoming students, um, just um, to get them thinking uh, about something kind of bigger than themselves. Um, so I totally enjoyed it. Um, and that is the end of my vlog. Thank you.